Hey guys, what's up? So after the tutorials I previously did, with Octane, I got requests from people asked me to do the tutorials without Octane. Jaya asked me to do the glass type of material and Renair asked me to do the to combine the HDR map with the materials. So this time we're gonna combine the glass like material with the HDI map, which I don't usually do, and we're gonna do it without Octane. So let's get going. Now we're in Cinema 4D or 20, and here I have a basic scene set up with the sky, a few lights, camera, sphere, and the floor. So we're gonna start it from the Uber material and apply it to the sphere. Now we're going to open up the material editor and uncheck the diffuse because we're going to create a transparent material. And here we have it. We're going to look for glass. And we can apply the HDRI map to the sky. So actually I'm not, not going to do it here. We're going to create material and apply it to the sky. Open up editor. And let's go to Numinous to get the texture load image. And go for this one here. Now we have our environment. And let's check it out. So that's how it looks. Here we can hide the sky with the scene for the tag, which is called compositing here. And uncheck scene by camera. So we have the basic setting here. And now we're going to hit Alt R to open up the interactive render region. So what else are we going to do with it? Now here we can change the colors of the transparency. Now let's get here. Transparency. Oh, actually just click it and type it. So we can go for, let's say, gradient. Gradient, here, color, here, gradient. And now we have the gradient. And we can change the gradient color to light blue or dark blue, light blue. Light blue and light red. Red, yes. Okay, this is too much red. Let's move it over a bit. And give it a bit more blue tint. Okay. This looks like grapefruit. Okay, now it doesn't look like grapefruit. Okay, so what's what's next? Now we can say we can add layers to it so that Layer, if we want to add something else, we can just add it on. So here we have our layer. For this layer, we have a layer of one. So what can we choose? We have many options, but here I'm going to show you one with noise. So we got our noise here and our gradient. It's the same as the layer and things up in Photoshop. You get the noise on top, so you only see the noise here. So you can change the blending mode to lighten, overlay, or, or anything you like to get the feel that you want. Here I'm going to go for lighten, and same as the gradient. Lighten blending mode. Now we have something slightly different. So this is looking quite interesting. What else can we do with that? How about changing the lights? Here we have our lights and we can change the colors. Okay, hold on. We can change the colors to this one to yellow. And we have a bit of yellow tint here. And the floor, we can pick a default node material. You can find it here. And let's go for plastic. Now we can change the color of the plastic, like light blue or this blue. Okay, that's looking pretty good. 
but it's missing a bit of red. So let me add some to it here. Drag you back. Okay, so that's pretty much the concept of it. You can add things up to the layers or you can use, let's say, blend. And then you can blend things there. So I'm just gonna experiment a bit and find the feel that I was looking for. Don't forget to try it out and see if it works for you. And huge thanks to my subscribers. Also, thank you all for watching my tutorials. I'll see you next time.